All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the Ratchet Motors YouTube channel. Uh, what we're gonna go over today is our first 3D printer. We picked up an Ender uh, 5 S1 from Creality. Uh, so we're gonna go through how we put it together and our first print on the machine. I'm super excited to share this all with everyone. Uh, so tune in, here we go. So we got the main body together. That was pretty easy, only 16 volts total. So we'll go ahead and we'll put together the uh, Z-axis next, which is basically our print bed along with our Z-axis motor. Uh, and it recommends using the foam, so that's a pretty good idea. So we'll go ahead and get this going. All right, so that really wasn't too bad. We got the printer all set up here. What we did kind of off screen was just connecting to the wiring harnesses. Came with some preset clips and different things just to organize the cables. Uh, and we attached our tube for our filament. So now all that's really left to do, we're gonna plug it in. And it actually comes with some preset G-code files already, one of a rabbit, one of a boat. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead, add the filament and give it a shot. Uh, so we'll power it up and we'll see where we get from there. Alright, so it's just doing some of its auto leveling and then we'll load in the material and get that first print going on here.
So I printed it 26 minutes. Again, that was just something that already came with the printer, uh, preset G-code and everything. So it was easy as just plugging in the memory card and setting it off here. So let's see. Too bad. All right, so that bunny was cool and all, but we're gonna go ahead and try to step things up a little bit. Uh, I know I was gonna take it slow in this video, but the bunny only took us a half hour. So we're gonna step it up to a print that I've seen that I thought is really cool. We're gonna give it a shot, see if we can take a guess at some of the settings because we won't have any of the settings already for this printer. So we'll take an STL file, uh, we'll pull it into Cura, uh, the software I just chose for slicing my different files up. Uh, we'll take a stab at our settings for the PLA that we're using to print with. And hopefully we make this pretty cool print that I've seen some other users do before. And so what we're going to try here is this collapsible katana. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's actually, uh, if you're a 90s kid like me, it's like those lightsabers you used to be able to buy at like KB Toys. Um, that when you kind of flung them out, all the uh, it would almost telescope out to the blade. So you can actually print this. There's a free file available online. Uh, so I just downloaded the STL file, put it into my Cura software here, and I'm going to set up a G code so that I can print it out on my printer. And if it works all right, all of these layers should print inside of each other. And in one print, we should have the blade and all of the handle and everything as a cool little toy uh, katana, similar to those toy lightsabers. So we'll go ahead and give it a shot now. Again, uh, we don't really have any of the settings uh, as far as what would be perfect for the material and this printer, uh, but I'm gonna take a stab at it and hope for the best. So that print is all set here. It took about six and a half hours. And unfortunately, it did not work out as expected. Uh, the print went pretty smooth. Everything on the outside looked pretty good, but all of those internal layers, as far as all of those blades that kind of telescope together, uh, the printer settings just weren't right. And those are either stuck together or maybe there just isn't enough clearance between them to allow them to slide free. So essentially we just have one solid block as the handle. Uh, so this is just gonna take a little more experimenting with the settings uh, and I'm sure we'll get it right. But unfortunately, uh, that's really all we have for that sample reel of material. I'm gonna hop on Amazon and am order some more material and hopefully get those settings right. But uh, we won't get that in this video. Uh, that's really all that we have for today. Uh, so again, this was our Creality Ender 5 S1 printer. Uh, I'm super excited to get into this machine a little more and start really experimenting with it. Hopefully start including some prints in some of our automotive content. Uh, so hopefully keep a heads up for that. But leave in the comments if you have any suggestions, any cool prints that you've seen in the past. I'd love to just experiment with this machine. Uh, the more test prints I can do, the better I can get the settings kind of honed in there. So give me some ideas of any good prints you guys have seen out there and I'll be sure to try them out. Uh, with that, it's everything we have for today. So I hope you like what you saw. If you did, let me leave a like uh, below. Be sure to leave something in the comments. Subscribe for more content and hope to see you again soon.